Hello everyone and welcome back to the Part-Time Gamers YouTube channel. I'm Will Chi, one half of the Part-Time Gamers. And welcome back, and welcome to a very special, I should say, reaction video. Today we will be reacting to the Hogwarts Legacy State of Play, which just aired. Uh, I couldn't react to it live as, as it went live, but I'm just shortly after recording this reaction. Um, this was announced on Monday the 14th. It's now Thursday the 17th of March 2022. Um... And yeah, we're expecting to see about 14 minutes of Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to watch it. Um, yeah, not much to say other than, I guess, predictions. Not much for the gameplay. I just want to see good gameplay, make it look fun. Graphically, I'm expecting it to look good. Um, but I am hoping to see a release date, if not a release window. Um, 2022, of course, but like a month or like a say summer or autumn whatever fall i just want something um but a date would be brilliant but i imagine it's going to be a window but yeah let's get straight into this no point wasting my time let's go press play um playstation logo warner brothers games hopefully the audio is okay guys let me know if it's not i'm still trying to work on a better way of recording um these reaction videos avalanche and when I say audio, I mean my audio, obviously, not the game, the, the video, whatever. Lumos. Lumos. Okay, here we go. In-game footage, work in progress, in mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics. Okay. Okay, looks good. That looks good. Looks... Think you're doing here, humans. Ooh, I wasn't too sure on that voice acting there. But... Okay. This is the kind of shit I'm looking for. It looks good. Hogwarts Legacy. I really hope there's Quidditch. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. You're a new student at the famed school of witchcraft and wizardry with okay. a unique ability new to student. manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. You'll need to powerful what's ancient the magic return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness it to destroy wizard kind. I well, imagine it's him. <laughs> the fate of the entire wizarding world. They're goblins? Good goblins, not elves either, they're goblins. But before you can study magic and begin to solve these mysteries, yeah, create a character. You want to be. Are they going to tell us how you get sorted into a house? When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your house. Mm, no, they're not going to tell us how. You will then need to attend classes, and you do have classes. Good. Do. I'm glad there's classes. Late. I hope. I hope that you um. You like pick certain traits, and then they select the house that best fits you. I don't really want to pick my house. I want them to tell me, oh, based on what you picked, this is the best house for you. And I wonder how much the house affects it. You know, is it just a thing? Or does being in a certain house affect the game in any way? For example, I know I'm talking over this, sorry. But this is just lessons. If you're in Slytherin, is, if I'm assuming one of the bad guys in this game is in Slytherin, do you like, side with them rather than against them? I don't know. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. You may begin. Okay. That looks cool. Not bad for a beginner. Potions is one of the most challenging and I'm not too sure about the voice acting yet and like the lip sync. And learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, say off about it. And more. In between classes, you'll be able to visually though, looks very good for its secrets, enchantments, and mysteries. You'll discover dungeons and secret passageways. Okay. As well as challenging puzzles that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve. I mean, that didn't look that challenging. He just used a spell and it opened. <laughs> you may even find yourself in iconic locations you've never been able to explore before. Is Dobby 
can Dobby be in this game? He said in the 1800s, I guess not, but I don't know how old goblins are. He's not. He's, a, he's an elf though, isn't he? He's not a goblin. Are the elves older? I, I don't know. Oh, nearly headless Nick. Oh, his the voice act is not the same as the film, but that's fine. You'll come to know this eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. One's designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years. Sorry, the yawn is late here. Oh my god, Quidditch. Ah, oh, that was a tease. I hope they show more of that. Opportunities for adventure abound in the area surrounding Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig to try and discover if the rumours of a mounting goblin Professor Fig wait, and if the safety of Hogwarts lies in the balance. I have opinions. Ranrock's Goblin Rebellion. Yeah, so I think that, that goblin is going to be key to the story. Loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with. I don't know if you guys agree, but it's just something. By a magical force, oh, powerful goblins. Oh, they look cool. And wizards, um, fight, it's like off about the voices. I don't know why. Goals. In fact, there's an uneasy alliance between the goblins and dark wizards. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. Well, his is better. His voice is better. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. And so is his. Okay. Maybe the main characters will be okay. Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. Cool. That looks good. Spells and combat, are they going to show us how it works? There's got to be some sort of skill tree or some sort of upgrade system. And do you get the spells from lessons or do you get them from upgrades, you know? Like, would find them, can't find spells like you do in Horizon, like finding weapons. And offensive abilities, including okay. blasting curses, stunning spells, enchanted weaponry, and more. While some may attack directly, others might enchant and incapacitate you. Mastery of the shield charm allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon strikes. I mean, it looks pretty good, actually. I don't, that's, that's kind of what I hoped for with this kind of combat, because you want to feel like a wizard, which is hard to pull off in the game, you know? I think it looks like they might be doing it. We'll never know until we get our hands on it and see how it feels to play. Is it fun to play? But it certainly looks good enough. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay. You could see some cool YouTube videos from this kind of stuff. Devastate your enemies using various finishes. You can even use the mysterious, powerful magic your professors do not understand to obliterate your strongest. Oh, wow, okay. Mixing and matching dozens of spells will let you define your combat style. Is because there's no like HUD there, there's no like health or anything there. I wonder if they've got rid of that for this trailer or if that's what it looks like. How would you know your health and stuff like that? I'm guessing it's kind of like load, t like, you know, what it, like loads between using spells. You can't just do them constantly. I bet like the, the harder spells, you need like some sort of cooldown. That's what I mean. Uh, here comes a skill tree. Okay, cool talents. I was looking up there. There's challenges. Yeah. Level up your abilities by choosing talents to upgrade your spells. Oh, Plus, invisibility cloak. <laughs> Sick. Which talents best fit your play style. I don't think that's actually, I think it's just invisibility, not the cloak, but still. Magic. You can also loot, buy, or craft your own magical gear. Okay. Will increase your offensive and defensive capabilities in combat. 
gear can be upgraded and specialized to allow for greater abilities for your chosen place. Okay. Even motion when cutting your ingredients. Okay. Beasts. Here we go. This is what I want to see. Spells are not the only tools at your disposal. Oh man, I hope you get to do the polyjuice potion at some point. There is so much potential in this game, but you just remember things from the films and books and stuff like. Brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost. Okay, that wasn't probably use, but still. That's cool. Drones deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. Ah. You can even I mean, it, deadly mandrake you have similar stuff in other games, but it's just cool because it's Harry Potter. Ah, oh, oh my god, that's so cool. In beast class, you will learn about a variety of magical beasts you might encounter. Both at school and as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. The goal of today is to remind oh my God. how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. Learning and I'm sold, that's it, I'm done. I, I don't need to see any more. That is fucking sick. Look how good that looked. Oh my I can't believe I can't believe that. That has sold me so much. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. And over time, you can you pick your friends, or are they kind of like set? If you know what I mean, like you've got a choice of five, kind of thing. Pick wisely, choose wisely, in the famous words of J. Cole. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves. Yeah, it looks like yes, yeah, they're kind of set. Than with That's fine now. It means they probably make a better narrative that way. She seemed like the uh, woman from the film. We've been over this boy. Trouble things cannot reverse a curse with a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. The room of requirement. A whole section on this. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known as the Room of Requirement. Oh! You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need and then provides it for you. It's like a little hub space for you. The room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions, and mm. I don't like that timer on there. That's like that's like mobile game kind of shit. You know, when like you upgrade stuff on like Clash of Clans or something. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I didn't like that. Didn't like the look at that at all. That looks fucking sick though. That really fucking cool. No, no way can you. If you can actually you need on your journey, ride those Hogwarts, manually, you'll want to visit the nearby wizarding village of Hippogriffs, aren't they? Where loads of shops and vendors can provide you with the supplies you require. From potion ingredients and recipes, to seeds for magical plants, to all sorts of gear. But Hogsmeade also has its dangerous side. A band of dark witches and wizards, emboldened by the turmoil of the times, wander the village outskirts. You must avoid them or defeat them. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of unusual interest. As the is there going to be dynamic seasons and climate? Like, can we go to Diagon Alley? Probably not. Like, Platinum Form Nine and Three Quarters? Probably not. But it would it would even be cool if it was just the very beginning where it was like a little thirty minute to an hour section of platform nine three quarters and Dragon Alley and stuff. That'd be really cool. Be on the lookout for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself when he was a student at Hogwarts. Magical beasts roam the lands outside the castle walls. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic, while others are at risk of poachers and their traps. If you're feeling benevolent, you can rescue them and restore them to health in the room of requirement. 
but there are dangers beyond your understanding oh, sick. in the world as well. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. Master spells. Oh, Vardakadavra, hello. Journey across a landscape never seen. Looks like you can fly them. Please tell. Combat mystical threats. Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be. I'm 100% sure you can fly the broomsticks. I'm not 100% on those hippogriffs. I'm a slightly worried as a cut like CGI cutscene. Come on, give us a, give us a release date. Go on, just do it. Ugh, holiday. Holiday 2022. Okay. Okay, I mean. I can't complain. Holiday 2022 is fine. Let me just um, stop the video. I'm also going to see if there's any f other news just on the web. Um, I've got so many thoughts. Let me just... Hogwarts, Hogwarts, Hogwarts. All the announcements from Sony State of Play. There's not much here that we don't already know. Yeah, everyone's basically talking about the release date. Um, yeah, I think we've pretty much covered everything. I personally think that looked a lot better than I was expecting. Um, there's a part of me that was worried about this game because we haven't seen it in almost two years. Um, but that looks good. It had all the standard open world kind of RPG games that you'd expect. Um, like your own little hub. It's cool that they used the room requirement for that. Um, it seems like there's side quests, upgrade trees. Um, my biggest thing from that, you probably saw from my reaction, was riding around on a broomstick. We didn't see Quidditch. Well, we saw a tiny glimpse. We didn't see him playing Quidditch, but it was hinted at. And the fact that you're riding a broomstick pretty much confirms that I would be surprised if they didn't have Quidditch in there as well. Um, I was actually I was actually expecting Quidditch more than just riding a broomstick around Hogwarts anywhere. That's fucking cool. That That is... So I, for some reason, didn't expect you could just hop on a broomstick and ride around, like fly around Hogwarts. I just, for some reason, that didn't even cross my mind, and I am so glad they did that. Um... The hippogriff, I'm probably looking into it too much. It, it obviously it looks like they're telling you, yes, you can fly hippogriffs in this game. Um, it might even be confirmed, I can't remember. But it's something about the way they were showing it, it wasn't, it didn't confirm to me that it definitely was. It looked like it could have been like part of a lesson, like in Harry uh, Harry Potter the film, when Harry does have a, he flies the hippogriff during one of his lessons with Hagrid. Hopefully it's not just that, and hopefully you can fly them more regularly than just that and it's more man manual um that's really fucking cool as well um the houses not really much more clarity on that in terms of how you get selected um obviously we knew the four houses i don't know why they even needed to tell us what they were because most people watching this thing today know the four houses of harry potter but anyway um yeah, I think the, the combat looks better than I was expecting as well. It's probably the hardest thing to get right in this game, I think. I think most of the other stuff speaks for itself. It's kind of hard to mess up the setting, um, to be honest. The lessons should be pretty straightforward, but the combat should be the hardest part, and it looks like they're doing a good job of it. Um, I'm actually impressed. And that has gone from a probably will get this to I am definitely 100% getting this game when it releases in holiday 2022, which is, I guess, expected. I think part of me got a bit excited when the state of play happened in March. I kind of thought, oh, maybe it's actually a lot closer than we thought, but holiday 2022 is fine. We'll probably see, obviously, a bit more about this game nearer the time. Probably a PlayStation showcase event is later down the line. We'll see a bit more of this. Probably not to this extent, like 14 minutes, but... Yeah, I am sold. Um, I'm definitely getting this game. 
it looks so much better than I was even hoping, actually. Um, I'm actually... This has gone from, as I said, a potential buy, and probably will buy, but it's gone from... If you say my most hyped game at the moment is God of War Ragnarok by far, I would probably put this second now. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm probably forgetting something massive. Am I forgetting something massive? It was Devil of Breath of the Wild 2 and stuff. I would probably genuinely put this second right now. Maybe it's just recency bias because I've just watched it, but no, yeah, I'm I'm in for this. I think it looks really cool. Oh, Spider-Man 2, of course. Fuck that. Spider-Man 2 would be second, but I know that's further away. So for this year, it's um, Harry Potter. But anyway, let me know what you think of or thought of this state of play, guys. Are you excited for this game? Does this look better than you thought or worse than you thought? Um, I genuinely believe it was a very good showing for the game, so... I'd be surprised if people don't like it, but I need to go online and have a look if people don't like it or not. But for me, it's maybe much more interesting in this game. Let me know if it has the same effect on you. Do you like the fly on the broomstick? What What was your favourite part of this um, reveal, the gameplay reveal? Um, I just want to know all your thoughts on this. Or what you didn't like, whatever. Like, for example, I didn't like that timer that they showed when they were, like, brewing a spell or something. Um, didn't like the look of that, but we'll find out more about that, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this reaction video. Um, I'm actually just about to go and react to another trailer for The Quarry, the new game by the team that made Until Dawn. Uh, it should be a lot shorter. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.